She'll get us started. Batting 312 on the season. Mizzou having a great weekend. 4-0 wins over Oregon, Texas Tech, San Diego State, and Washington. Wilmis swings the first pitch, high pop up on the infield. That's Vines at second making the catch. Underway, a couple of minutes late, 11.33 first pitch from Faremo. Beautiful sunny day and another good crowd here the at the Mary Nutter Collegiate three, Classic. Jenna Laird. Yeah, this, this is a tough team. Um, a lot of great hitters. Been coached by uh, Chris Melville, just went to Tennessee. I was their hitting coach last year, so look, look for this team to really battle. One out. Batter now is Jenna Laird, our player to watch for the Tigers. SEC Freshman of the Year last year, started all 59 games at shortstop, hitting 369. Bruins versus Tigers. Faremo does not get the strike out there. No swing, says the third base umpire. A pop out to begin this game from Wilmis, the leadoff hitter. Ball two. Like I said before, Missouri's definitely um, been one of the best programs in the SEC for a long time, especially lately. They've been back to giant status in the league. Pop-up foul. And as we mentioned, Mizzou knocked off UCLA in 2019 in the tournament, though UCLA ultimately eliminated the Tigers in the regional. The Bruins were stacked that year. They went on to win a national title. They're 13th in program history. Yeah, I think that first year, uh, Coach Anderson's had a really successful season, but they were not allowed to go to the postseason due to some NCAA infractions. Anderson, longtime coach at Hofstra in the state of New York before taking over at Missouri. Her husband's a manager in the minor leagues for the Cardinals. A lot of these families, we've seen a lot of baseball, softball combos. Yeah, for sure. I, I love that idea of her husband being a manager. I'm sure they bounce, you know, ideas off each other all the time. Bouncer to second. Vines has to wait back on it, but she throws to first in time. Two away for Faremo and the Bruins here in the top of the first inning. No score. And Faremo will deal to Kimberly Wirt. Yeah, two up, two down right there. Those are two big outs. Two of the best hitters in, in the SEC for sure. This lineup is not an easy lineup. Here's another one of those great hitters. Wirt takes a strike. Kimberly Wirt, 17 home runs last year. And she hit a grand slam yesterday in a run rule win over Washington for the Tigers. Yeah, she's got big power. I think Coach Anderson brought her over from Hofstra when she came over. Player with tons of great experience in the SEC and success in the SEC. Not an easy conference to play in. For Amo looking for her first strikeout, a career high 18 yesterday. Popped up foul, that's headed towards us. Lands on the overhang. A foul ball city here with five fields all in close proximity. You can see the fans up the berm. Just a really cool environment to watch college softball. Definitely uh, the place to be on a weekend. Pitch misses outside. Two outs, nobody on. Kimberly Wirt batting for Mizzou. Swing, 
swing and a miss, strike three. Ferremo gets her with the rise ball. Good start for you. Washington takes outside from Krings. There's definitely a frontline pitcher for sure. So UCLA will have their hands full trying to get to her early. That pitch hit foul off the left side. Washington followed by Vines and Pola here in the bottom of the first inning. So Missouri, this is another team that's very well balanced. Defensively, got some speed. Here's Krings. Hard ground ball up the middle and into center field. Base hit for Kinsley Washington. Good start for the Bruins on offense. It's a great A-B right there. Tough pitch down in the zone and just hit it where it needs to go. Up the middle on the ground. Right back where it came from. UCLA finally getting to play in the sun. They played the two late games each of the last two nights when it was chilly. So maybe with the warm weather, we'll see some hotter bats for the Bruins. Anna Vines batting, tries to slap at it. Runner goes out at second base. Kinsley Washington cut down on a perfect throw from Missouri's catcher. It's a great play. Got up quick, throw on the money. Ball beats her there. She's out all day long. Gabby Dieters, the sophomore, transfer from Kentucky. And that was a beautiful play to get Washington at second base. Slapped into left, base hit for Anna Vines. So back-to-back -back hits, but the caught stealing in between for UCLA. This UCLA lineup is definitely being aggressive. That's always a good good thing early. You don't want to be passive early in the game. You want to be aggressive and offensive minded for sure. Savannah Pola, big hit in UCLA's victory last night against Baylor, a two run double in the sixth inning. And she also had the walk off AB in the eighth inning against Tennessee. Line drive to center, sack fly that scored Kinsley Washington from third. Krings delivers. Fouled off over our heads down the third baseline. Luckily not on our heads. Like that player earlier got smoked from another field and right in front of us. Fortunately we do have this little tent that's the extent of our broadcast booth here. Very low-tech environment at Mary Nutter. And I'm not saying that in a bad way. It's really cool. Into right field base hit. Vine stops at second. So the Bruins with three straight singles to open up. But there is an out because of the caught stealing. That was a good piece of hitting right there. Ball had eyes on it. Didn't do too much with it, put it on the ground, hit it hard on the right side. Right-handed batter digs in. This is Delaney Wiz. We know she has some pop. Takes a first pitch strike from Krings. And now we've got a meeting in the circle. That's the head coach, Larissa Anderson. What do you think she's talking about, a pitch into this at bat? I think it's just they, um, that was actually a screwball, and it looked like the she threw it on the outer half of the plate. So I don't know if whether she's, the ball's getting away from her or the catcher maybe got crossed up. I don't know. She just wants to make sure that 
They're not doing something. They need getting trouble right here with two runners on. Oh one. Wiz takes the first pitch high after that meeting in the circle. And something you don't see very often in softball anymore is where the catcher actually gives signs after taking signs from the bench. She's actually given finger signs like baseball. Now usually you just look over and then both the pitcher and the catcher know what the pitch is once they get the sign from the staff. I mean, and also, like we said, Coach Anderson's husband is a baseball guy, so she might like the idea that she relays the signs herself. Wiz rips one into right field. Stop sign for Anna Vines at third. And that's a good call from Kirk Walker. She had to freeze on that line drive. No way she could score. Yeah, but that, four straight singles for the Bruins. Yeah, that ball was hit well. Don't want to send the runner, especially with one out. Well, here comes Maya Brady. She's led the way on offense for UCLA this weekend. Three home runs in UCLA's four games. It's a big part of the game right here. Base loaded, one out. Foul back, Brady just missed that one. Base is loaded for the Bruins. If not for that caught stealing, they would have scored already. Yes. Brady swings and misses. It's a great play by the catcher in the middle infielder just keep her nose on it, stay in the, in the play and, and hold the bag while the throw's coming with runner coming. Oh, 2 Brady just stays alive. She fouls that off. Base is loaded for UCLA. Wiz, Pola, and Vines at first, second, and third, respectively. Ball one. Tense moment here in the opening inning. UCLA threatening with the bases loaded and just one out. Yeah, definitely a tough spot to be in right off the get-go. Ball two. That pitch ran off the plate. Infield's playing in, so the um, the play is definitely going four to one. Try to turn double play that way. Unless the ball gets through, then obviously a different story. Brady has some pop. Stays alive. Battling here against Krings. Maya Brady exhales. Bruins looking to improve to 5-0 at Mary Nutter this year. Same story for Mizzou. Both teams ranked. Both teams looking for a big win. Brady hits another one foul up the first baseline. She's definitely not making it easy for the pitcher to Get the ball where she needs to. She's trying to come in tight right there. She's just fighting it off. This is a good sign of a good hitter. Just go ahead and pull it, waste the pitch, and maybe you'll get a better pitch on this next one. 2-2. Two -two. Brady rips one to right. This is way back. Grand slam, UCLA.
Give her some candy. What a great swing, down and in, turns on it. That was a no doubter right off the get go. Only question was would it stay fair? It was hooking, but it did stay to the left of the foul pole. And there's Brady getting that Jolly Rancher, I believe, from third base coach Kirk Walker. We talked about it last night. He's got a bit of a sweet tooth, and whenever a Bruin hits a home run, that's what they get as they round third base. Yeah, she crushed that ball in a big moment. Brianna Perez, the batter now. So UCLA under the sun instead of the bright lights. And just like that, the bats, they're working. Hey, heat, heat always helps the game, that's for sure. The UCLA's had to play on some chilly evenings to start this event. Perez, preseason All-American, redshirt senior from Northern California. A special player right here. Very good defensive shortstop. Tries to get a bunt down, fouls it off the catcher. Let's take another look at this. There it is. Jolly Rancher for Maya Brady. Shouldn't she get four for hitting a grand slam? Yeah, I think. Well, her parents probably don't want her to get four. <laughs> you know. Can her uncle eat Jolly Ranchers? Tom's got that weird T12 diet, or TB12 diet, excuse me. Doesn't eat like things with seeds. It's very bizarre. <laughs> um, that's a good question. If you're watching, please <laughs> please reach let out to us. Yeah, let us know if Tom Brady, if uh, DM us somehow. Yeah, um, yeah. If uh, I'm guessing that Tom Brady does not eat Jolly Ranchers. Maya Brady comes through with the first Grand Slam here at the main field. I know there have been grand slams at other fields because Missouri hit one yesterday against Washington. But here, that's the first granny. Right-handed batter, Seneca Kuro. She swings and slaps one foul. Two outs now, Perez flight out to left. That's Shomo who made the catch for Mizzou. Who won uh, between Northwestern and Tech? I think I owe you. I think the Red Raiders that won 4 2. Really? That was a big nice win, win for the Red Raiders. They lost to UCLA earlier this weekend. And Northwestern started out 3 0, but this is a tough event. They lost last night to Fullerton and then today to Texas Tech. So they picked up some big wins and they lost some tough ones. Kind of how this goes, it is really hard to go undefeated on a weekend like this. Swing and a miss, Kuro down. Inouye Perez won three national titles as a player to go with her two as head coach. They're always in the hunt. But UCLA, with three losses early, all to ranked teams, including one to Oklahoma. That was before Mary Nutter. Daly swings, pops one foul. Cara Daly, 265 average on the season. UCLA with four runs on five hits in the opening inning. Of course, the big one, the Maya Brady Grand Slam. Another pop foul. Four runs, a tall task against Megan Faremo. She has been lights out. One of the really cool things about Missouri's program is their, their new stadium they have. Impressive. I think maybe it's three years old. That thing is really nice. Sure that helps big time with recruiting. So much of it is about facilities. It's an arms race. And that's a big thing when you're a student or a parent, I imagine. You want to make sure that you're getting the best of the best. 
No, I mean, it helps. It helps to have that ability to be able to play in really good facilities. Ball just came on the field from the other field. It's always so dangerous in these yeah, That's fields. the tough part, yeah, when you've got five fields in one complex. They're all so close together. And game's on all five fields right now. As Daly hits another one foul We're over towards one of those fields, that's the Yankee field. It's almost like the back and forth. We hit one to your field, you <laughs> hit one this way. That's how it works. Faremo finally gets Daly swing and a miss on a pitch in the dirt. Second strikeout for Faremo. The pitch is well located, fell off the table, chase pitch, perfect. Not much you can do there if you're Mizzou. Kendall Bailey. Kendall Bailey, the second baseman now. And Missouri's pick to finish in the top part of the SEC, so they're, they're definitely expected to do big things again. A pick to finish fifth in the SEC preseason poll, but that's not bad. Alabama, Florida, Arkansas, Tennessee, the team's picked to finish above them. The SEC is a juggernaut conference. Oh, yeah, and it's only about to get better with the Longhorns coming and the Sooners. Yeah, Boomer Sooner. That'll make for some good conference showdowns. Oh, yeah. That definitely will be a super league in all sports. Well, right now in softball, Oklahoma 1, Alabama 2. Yeah, that's that pitching staff in Alabama is out of this world also. Very well coached team by Patrick Murphy. Called strike to Bailey. One out, nobody on, top of the second. Gorgeous day as we finish up the Mary Nutter Collegiate Classic. Ball four, so Faremo walks Bailey with one out. Kinsley Washington holding the runner on at first. Here's Alex Honnold. Saw that name, right fielder for Mizzou. I thought that was interesting. That's the same name as the guy who was featured in that documentary Free Solo where he climbed up El Capitan. Oh, yeah. They're not related. They just have the same name, Alex Honnold. Now that's something I don't want to do. <laughs> no. Climb up El Capitan with just your arms and legs. You're one sweaty finger away from disaster. Sweaty hands. Yeah, Alex Honnold, the rock climber, comes up on the internet before Alex Honnold, the softball player. That guy could probably open a, a canned Coke by <laughs> just squeezing it. Got to be pretty strong, yeah. American rock climber best known for his free solo ascents of big walls, in particular El Capitan in Yosemite. This Alex Honnold bounces a single up the middle, not bad. It's a good piece of hitting right there. Right back where it came from. First hit for Mizzou in this game. Tigers looking to get back in this one after Maya Brady hit a grand slam to give UCLA a 4 0 lead. Next up for Missouri, number 44, Gabby Dieters. Gabby Dieters to bat. Now, just to make sure I have it straight, Free Solo, that's the name of the documentary. As Faremo delivers, Dieters takes a strike. So, according to the internet, which of course, never wrong, 
No. It's where uh, climbers climb alone without ropes, harnesses, or other protective equipment, forcing them to rely entirely on their own individual preparation, strength, and skill. So you know how, like, you know, as a kid, you'd climb up a tree? Free solo, that's like doing that, but on huge rocks and mountains. On steroids. That's, that's nuts. Well, at least he's got an Oscar now. I'm sure his mom's a nervous wreck. <laughs> Swing and a miss for Ramo on three pitches gets Dieters big out there. Two away now in the top of the second. Missouri hoping not to let this opportunity go by. Emma Robbie, the first baseman batting now for Mizzou, senior from Omaha, Nebraska. That's where the men's college world series is, the baseball. Yeah, that's a special place, really neat. New stadium. Now, TD Ameritrade after years and years at Rosenblatt. That was a tad bit of an old minor league park. It was, yeah. Well, because Omaha has the Storm Chasers, the AAA team, but they play actually just outside of Omaha, technically. Yeah, and I think. Uh, the Omaha Royals AAA is in Omaha, and the Storm Chasers are an A-ball team. No, the Storm Ch I think the Storm Chasers are the AAA team. I'll have to look that up, but at least it was when I was in the minors. Yeah, I think um, I saw some kind of documentary on that. I might be wrong. My wife says I'm wrong pretty <laughs> often. Yeah, the Storm Chasers, they are the, the AAA affiliate of the Royals. I think they used to be called the Omaha Royals, but now they're the Storm Chasers. And yeah, yes. they play in uh, Papillion, Nebraska. I'm not sure if I pronounced that right. A, a suburb of Omaha. That's actually where Jordy Ball, the Oklahoma ace pitcher, is from. Mm, interesting. So nobody plays at the actual Ro Rosenblatt? Rosenblatt? No, I think Rosenblatt has actually been taken down. I drove through Omaha, throw back to first, runner safe, and Mizzou gets runners on the corners, heads up base running by Kendall Bailey as she advances on the throw down. Wow. He actually drove through Omaha. I think the side of the old Rosenblatt, it's by the zoo now. They've taken down the field. They still have home play and some bleachers. So it's kind of just like a, a museum. So people stop and take photos. That's what I did. Strike three called. Take a photo of that. Megan Faremo with the Bruins strength. here. Bottom of the second, 4-0 UCLA on Maya Brady's Grand Slam. Lauren Krings delivers. Up and in, Mala Ulu showed bunt, and that pitch nearly hit her. Watch your face. Now that's some serious chin music. Yeah, that'll make you wake up. Yeah, if you didn't have your coffee this morning, that'll, that'll do the trick. It's like a matrix right there. Neo. Swinging a line drive into left, base hit. Did you see the, the new Matrix movie? No. I haven't, yeah. I really liked the first one. Not a big fan of two and three. And haven't made it to see the fourth one, which just came out. Love Keanu Reeves, but I don't know. It got a little, got a little too corny. Yeah, it was just hard to follow after the first one. I thought the first one was really innovative. But then it got too complicated. Gooden with a good bunt, and she's safe at first. It's a great bunt. Right-hander from Missouri. Kinsley Washington swings, gets under one. Info fly. Jenna Laird, the shortstop, makes the catch, and that's the first out of the inning. Coming into Mary Nutter, as you take a look at some Mizzou fans, what a run Weber has been on coming into this weekend over her last 62 innings. So stretching back into last year, obviously, a .9 ERA.
That pitch whacked into right field, base hit. UCLA adds a run, the throw gets by the catcher. Mala Ulu slides in safely. It's 5-0 Bruins on Anna Vine's RBI single. Would have been a play at the plate, but the catcher Dieters had the ball go by her. Yeah, great throw from the outfielder. Just did what she had to do. This catcher just rushed to, rushed to go make the tag, forgot to just catch the ball first. Alex Honold out in right field. That was, as you said, throw on the money. But unfortunately for Mizzou, no tag. Savannah Pola batting now. Five nothing Bruins. Pola, freshman batting third for UCLA. So a run scores and UCLA gets runners to second and third because of that ball all the way to the backstop. Give Vines an RBI there. Yeah, it's tough play, you know, for the catcher, but She catches that cleanly. She's out. Throws on the money. UCLA, though, they've brought their bats this morning. Ball three. Just a bit outside. Just a bit high as well. You gotta love Harry Doyle, character's name for Major League. Of course, played by great announcer, the Brewers radio guy, Bob Euchre. That ball slapped into left center, down for a base hit. One run in, UCLA sends Vines home and she scores standing up. Seven nothing, Bruins. And the eight clap, that's what they call the chant at UCLA. Mm -hmm. UCLA, fight, fight, fight. Used to do that a lot as a kid. Hearing that now in the crowd. The Bruins, number 97, Delaney Wiz. It's a great piece of hitting right there. Screwball down away, hits it well the other way, stays through it. Relay was not a good relay. Hitter winds up on second base. With the ball getting away from the cut. UCLA in command, 7 0 in the bottom of the second. Our sideline reporter, Tolly Anderson. Uh, this is her last year. Hey, Brandon, I found Kendall Bailey's dad. Kendall, <laughs> you were here. You said you come to the Mary Nutter tournament all the time. We do. It's, it's I feel like I found the parent section, not the student section. The best section right here. You're with, you're with all the, the parents right here. <laughs> How's the experience been coming here uh, every year with your daughter and making it a whole weekend full of fun? It's one of the best tournaments that of the year that we've come to every year. You come here, the weather is always nice. I mean, look, the, the fan base. They said that we had over 30,000 people yesterday. And I mean, that's where are you going to go and get that? Some of the best. This prepares us for our season, right? You're playing the best teams out here in California. Now, your daughter's been on the team for some years and is even eligible to play again due to that COVID year. But you shared with me something special. Share right. it. And there's a and she there's. Watching the game, you're probably. <laughs> but it, it's one of those things I said that all these girls that she came in with were recruited together and they're the team. And, and it's, yeah, she's eligible to play one more year. And then there's girls that she wants to let, you know, that COVID year has kind of made it to where some girls don't get to play as much. And she wants to go out with her team that she came in with. And so this is this, this is going to be a special year. You enjoy the special year. Thank you so much. Oh, anytime. Thank Back you. up to you, Brandon. Thanks so much for that, Kendall Bailey. With a walk, she was stranded at third in the second inning. Nice to hear from the parents. And yeah, that pretty much sums up this event as Maya Brady takes outside. If you've got a friend, family member, or if you just like softball, no reason not to come out here and enjoy the Mary Nutter Collegiate Classic. I mean, what a unselfish um, choice right there mm -hmm. to just go ahead and just retire after this to let others into 
the 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 position or on you know get some playing time. With COVID, it's just been so hard for the young players. Exactly, because everyone's got that extra year of eligibility. So the recruits competing with players, they thought that they'd be gone. They thought they'd have graduated. Yeah, I know in baseball, it's a big problem because the draft wound up being going from 50 rounds to five. Fi yeah, five think, rounds and back from to 40 to five and then they 15. Yeah, it's weird. And so there's a lot of guys should be in pro ball still in college. Called strike to Brady, three and one. UCLA in cruise control right now, seven nothing. Best offensive performance we've seen from the Bruins this weekend. It's a great story though. Really cool that Bailey deciding not to take that extra year as Brady works a walk. And you can't fault players either way. Nice of her to leave early, but look, being a college athlete, it's a lot of fun. It's a unique experience, something that these players won't really get again for the most part. No reason not to stretch it out if you can. Yeah, and also some of these kids are just ready for life. Brianna Perez, the batter, she fouls it back. They, they're ready to start their their uh, adult life and you know they've put a ton of energy and effort to the sport for a very long time and they want to they feel like they're ready to walk away especially when that was the plan all along and covid obviously came in messed up a lot of things but you know it's hard to ask kid or young adult really to push their entire life plan back an entire year or two exactly that ball whacked in the air slicing but it'll stay in the yard caught so by, much. wow what this a great is, crew the whole flow is, the whole flow team this is big league service right here Cassidy Shomo the batter for Missouri bunted foul I believe yes all right what do we got what do we got Got a wrap. I think, yeah, they, we, each, we each get a wrap. There we go. Yeah, you can see us. Here we go. Hello. This is the, the magic of TV doing 16 games in one weekend. Is that it? <laughs> this is 15. Hello. Oh. Yeah, that's our, our view up the third baseline. Right-handed batter, Cassidy Shomo. Outside for ball two. Shomo hit a walk-off homer in the eighth to beat San Diego State yesterday for Missouri. Two balls, one strike. Golfed in the air, right side. Anna Vines, the second baseman, camped out under it. She makes the catch. One time through the order for Faremo. She's doing her thing, four strikeouts. And UCLA has a 7-0 lead here in the top of the third. Brooke Wilmes batting now for the Tigers. Veteran player, good player, good hitter. Batting from the left side, hitting 306 on the season. Off the end of her bat, weird hop, but Anna Vines recovers at second and makes the play. Two outs, nobody on. Now batting for the Tigers, number three, Jenna Laird. Here's Jenna Laird, the shortstop. Sophomore from New York. I haven't seen a lot of New Yorkers this weekend. Not really a college softball hotbed. New York. I'm sure it's that that connection Coach Anderson had. Yeah, from Hofstra, yep. It's a good program for a long time. 
legendary coach, retired. Coach Anderson took over, did well, and then now she's SEC. And that's it for Megan Faramo and the Bruins. Another strikeout for UCLA. Obviously with 7-0 lead, they're looking to add a few more to run roll. It's just hard to do against a good team. 7-0 UCLA, best offensive performance for the Bruins this weekend. I'm sure they didn't score seven runs last weekend. That was a tough schedule also. Yeah, a couple of tough tournaments back to back for UCLA in Florida. And now in their backyard as Kuro takes a strike. Seven nothing Bruins, a grand slam from Brady in the first and then three runs in the second inning. Anna Vines with an RBI single, Savannah Polo with a two run double. Pop up, shallow left. Playable for Shomo, and she makes the catch. One out in the bottom of the third, UCLA seven, Mizzou zero. Next up for the Bruins, number 24, Tessa Malaulu. Here's Tessa Malaulu, the third baseman, sophomore from Long Beach. Had a good weekend. Single and a run scored in this ball game. Lauren Weber on the mound, excuse me. Jordan Weber on the mound, Lauren Kring started. I combined the two. Mizzou would like that, they're two aces. Krings, though, gave up six earned runs in her inning of work as Mala Ulu grounds out. Two away. That's a great at bat. She smoked that ball just right at her. Yep. Good play. Second base. That's how baseball works. That's how softball works. Sometimes you hit the ball very hard, but it's right at the defense. Kelly Gooden, the number nine batter. Bunt shown, takes up high. Gooden with a single and a run scored. UCLA with seven runs on nine hits. No runs, just one hit for Mizzou. Bunted foul behind the plate. The catcher, Dieters, did not have a play. 15th game out of 16 on this field, all broadcast on Flow Sports. Thanks so much to everyone who made this possible. Tolly Anderson, the sideline reporter. Ruben Felix, my partner in the booth. That was a weird play. The catcher had it pop up and then she caught it. Producer, Philip Hopwood. Directors, Kyle Grover and Doug Cicitano. Tommy Crisafuli on graphics and everyone else. Sorry, I don't have everyone's names. I know Joe, the audio guy, wanted a shout out last night. Spoke to him this morning. He worked on the conversion crew, he said, at Allegiant Stadium in Las Vegas, turning games over from UNLV to the Raiders. So he can relate to the work that the grounds crew here is doing with all these games on the five fields. It's not easy. Grounds crew's done a great job here at Wrigley. I noticed, um, we're doing chalking up batter's boxes and had a broom going going through the box, just making it perfect. That's a lot of wear and tear. 16 games on this field, all featuring really top-notch teams. This is yet another top 25 matchup. Ground ball right to short, and Gooden is retired. Bruins going to leave Haber. We're just talking about the game, but they're the ones making sure you can see it on flow softball. And see it well. Because I know I can't do that. 
Yeah. There's a camera right by our broadcast position. Too many buttons. I have no idea what's going on there. 7-0 Bruins. That pitch driven to left center by Kimberly Wirt. Forget about it. Mizzou is on the board. Big time smash by Kimberly Wirt. Mizzou's leading home run hitter. This is her sixth of the season. Yeah, great player. This girl's done big things at Missouri and Hofstra where she came from. The ball's right down the middle. Well struck ball. Top of the fourth and UCLA's lead is now six, seven to one Bruins. Megan Faremo will try and respond against Kara Daly. Big swing and a miss, so and one. So once again, big shout out to the whole Flow Sports crew. A lot of work this weekend, bringing you all the action, both on this field and the other fields as well. 67 games, 27 teams, four days, five fields. It's a huge undertaking. Daly, the freshman batting now for Mizzou. For sure, I mean, lots of people have given their heart and soul for the weekend to have these kids have fun this weekend. Swing and a miss, strike three. Sixth strikeout for Faremo. She just makes it look easy. 18 last night, a career high. Six already in this ball game, and we're not even batting an eye. No. This is special talent. Called strike. 7 1 UCLA. For Amo, she'll be on the national team, I assume, in the near future. She def definitely has the stuff to be on there. That pitch in the dirt to Kendall Bailey. We spoke to Kendall's dad, also named Kendall. It's pretty cool, father and daughter sharing the same name. So I don't, I don't think, I'm going to assume, which I know you shouldn't do, I assume he spells it differently. This Kendall, K-N-D-Y-L-L. -L. I assume he's got the A instead of the Y. What do they do when the, their, the wife mom <laughs> uh, like yells at him or gets in trouble? Like how they does both kind of turn around. They both look. Yeah. I bet one of them at least has a nickname. I have to. Well, my fiance tells me when she was a little girl, she thought her dad's name was Hun because that's what her mom always <laughs> called him. Hey, Hun. <laughs> that's funny. 2 2 Bailey lifts one to left. Kelly Gooden makes the catch. Two outs. And we've got Kimberly. Kara and Kendall in the middle of Missouri's lineup, the three hitters we've seen this inning. My theory all weekend has been names that start with the K, if you've got a, a little girl, good chance she'll wind up playing college softball. Yeah. Alex Honnold takes a strike, 0-1. I mean, Missouri Marketing for, could be the killer bees. It could, the killer the K's. The killer K's, like the killer bees used to be back in the day. Yep, for the Astros. Bagwell, Biggio, Berkman. Yes. I think I have a, that poster in the really? game room. Well, UCLA's got some K's of their own. Obviously, Faremo with a bunch of K's in the circle. But in their lineup, they've got Kinsley Washington and Kelly Gooden. I'm telling you, this Missouri team is not going to go down easy. These, oh, no. these guys are very experienced, well-coached team. Great staff over there. That pitch from Faremo misses inside. Yeah, don't let this score fool you. UCLA will do this to a lot of teams, but Missouri had won 10 of their last 11 coming into this ball game. They're going to make some noise come postseason time. They hosted a regional last year. Pitch is fouled away. Heads up behind us on the Yankee field. 
Mizzou actually hosted their Super Regional last year, but that was on the path that James Madison took to make it to the College World Series. The Cinderella story with their great player, Odyssey Alexander. That's the end of the end here. Leadoff hitter's always a big out for a team. Popped up left side. The shortstop, Laird, called off by the left fielder, Shomo. Washington retired. One away here in the bottom of the fourth. UCLA with seven runs on nine hits, one run on two hits for Missouri. Anna Vines digs in. Maya Brady got the party started in the first inning with a grand slam. The Bruins added three in the second inning. Anna Vines contributed to that with an RBI single. Right-hander Weber delivers in the dirt. Ball one. Here's the pitch. High for a ball. Savannah Pola on deck for the Bruins. Snazzy uniforms for UCLA with the pinstripes. And old school stirrups, I like it. Well, this is an old school program. 13 national titles. One of the first programs, too, in college softball. Yeah, one of those titles actually came before the NCAA started giving out softball titles. That'd be an interesting story for somebody a lot smarter than me, is to know the history of how it all started, how many teams were playing at this level, all that good stuff. It took a while to get where we are now. Obviously, now it's a, a huge sport. They've got a 64-team tournament, just like the men. The Women's College World Series, a huge draw. In events like this, we've seen tens of thousands, but it didn't start like this. Back to the box, great play by the pitcher, Weber. She stabs that up above her dome and throws to first for the out. There's nothing better than a great defensive pitcher. Help yourself out. Yeah, field your position, that's important. Especially uh, protecting yourself and then obviously protecting the ball is the number one thing you want to do. So you, you don't give up any base runners that are unwanted or don't earn the right to be at first. Savannah Pola batting. Outside, ball one. Pola with a two run double to make it a seven nothing game in the second. Mizzou has gotten a run back. Kimberly Wirt homered in the top of this inning. Two balls, no strikes to the freshman, Pola. Weber had to enter two batters into the second inning. Lauren Kring started. She's on the hook for six of UCLA's seven runs. Yeah, she's actually come in the game and done a great job in holding UCLA a little bit. And as a head coach, you like this situation where these pitchers come in in a tough environment and have some success before conference play. Ground ball to right, base hit. Savannah Polo with a two out single. She's three for three. Have a day. Big day. Delaney whiz to bat with two outs and one on. Good Pola. piece of hitting right yeah. there. There's a reason she's batting third as a true freshman for the Bruins. Wiz digs in. Ripped, but foul up the left field line. One really cool thing about these UCLA unis 
is the uh, the trim on the number has some like gold, mm -hmm. like a plating. Or, it's pretty cool. Makes it stick out. Now, UCLA likes to have little flourishes like that. They became the first NCAA program with 100 national championships across all sports. Take a look at those numbers. And that year, to celebrate the C, which is the Roman numeral for 100 on the UCLA basketball uniforms, that was a different color. It was accented. Cool. That's Pitch swung on. Hit in the air to shallow center. Wilmis comes in and she makes the catch. So the Bruins with one hit, a two out single. She's 0 for 1 with a strikeout. UCLA with a 7 to 1 lead over Mizzou. Must be hot to play in black uniforms on a hot day like this. It's a good way to stay warm. That's true. I do like those unis. Oh, yeah, very classy. Intimidating. The all black. Mm -hmm. they, they have a, they actually have an all yellow, yellow top, yellow pants. Wow. That's one of the things I like about softball is that they do the pants all different colors. Baseball is more restrained. It's pretty much just white or gray. Yes. 2-0 well whacked into left center field over Brady and over the wall. A leadoff home run for Gabby Dieters here in the fifth inning. And Missouri chipping away at that UCLA lead. That's the Tigers' second solo home run of the ball game at 7-2 Bruins. The ball is absolutely tattooed. Got out in a hurry. Watch yourself back there. Yeah, that bounced scramble. back into the field of play off the bleachers out there. Dieters with her first home run of the season. Here's Hollingsworth. Just two for five in limited action. Swing and a miss, 0 and 1. 7 2 Bruins. Hollingsworth, true freshman. Wearing number 42, which is such a great number and history behind the number. Jackie Robinson's number retired across Major League Baseball, except for Jackie Robinson Day when everyone wears it. I've always said, being the person who was, what he did for America, that 42 should be retired in all sports and worn on his day. That makes sense to me. Yeah, that'd be such a great honor. Swing and a miss for Ramo. Puts the freshman back in Missouri's dugout on just three. Swing and a miss by Cassidy Shomo. It's kind of the unwritten rule, the 42, like in Puerto Rico, Roberto Clemente number is, people don't wear that out of respect for him in Makes Puerto Rico. Makes a lot Rico. of sense. Shomo, righty batter. Big swing, fouls it back. It's a, such a great gesture to, to do that for Clemente in Puerto Rico. He's the biggest icon in, in baseball for that. Now he was a trailblazer in his country. own right. Dodgers actually could have had both of them because Clemente was a Dodgers minor leaguer. Yes, he was. Some weird stories about how he wound up. He was kind of a throw-in in a trade to the Pirates. And Dodgers probably kicking themselves for allowing that to happen. But the Dodgers, a team of trailblazers, Jackie Robinson, and then when I was a kid, Hideo Nomo, such a big deal because you didn't see Japanese players leave Japan the way you do now. Yes, they they were loyal to to their uh, country and their sport. Driven to center, this one's gone. Another home run for Mizzou. The Tigers 
flexing their muscles here, and it's a four-run ball game. I'm telling you, don't sleep on this offense. Dealt with them for many years, and they're tough. Well coached. This ball is absolutely hammered. Stayed over the plate. Hit it to the biggest part of the field. No doubter. Well over the 220 sign in center. All Maya Brady could do is watch. And look how happy that little girl is getting the ball. And be, be careful. This, this hitter right here, too. She's got some pop. Big pop. Brooke Wilmis. Big swing and a miss. So Faremo has given up three home runs, all solo shots. But UCLA's 7-0 lead has been trimmed to 7-3. Shomo, the leading hitter for Mizzou coming into this game. That's her second blast. And her first earlier this weekend, a walk off against San Diego State. Yeah, it's definitely not an easy lineup for one minute. Wilmis chases a pitch high. Strike three, throw to first. What a pick by Washington. I thought that was a foul ball, but it was strike three all the way to the backstop, and the throw from Wiz was low, but Kinsley Washington bails out UCLA's defense. Oh, yeah. That was, what a pick. What a pick at first. Unbelievable. Backhand pick. They appeal on the first pitch, no swing. Jenna Laird, reigning SEC Freshman of the Year, at the plate. Faremo deals outside. Got to wonder if she's starting to lose some steam. 18 strikeouts last night, pitched a complete game, eight innings against Tennessee. Also pitched. On Friday, and UCLA's win over Texas Tech went the distance in that game, struck out 12 in seven innings. Eight strikeouts, almost through five today. And one big advantage nowadays is the technology of teams having so much film on you now. That's a big advantage to teams that are about to face you. This one stays in the yard and finds a hole in right center. Jenna Laird extends the inning with a single to right center. It's the way these teams prepare now. I know we, our scouting was pretty intense in film and video on all these kids. We've watched video during BP in our indoor facility. Kids take it shoot it to him on their phone. I mean, it's, it's pretty intense. Kimberly Wirt batting. Faremo needs to be careful here. Wirt homered in the fourth inning. Two more homers for Mizzou here in the fifth, and UCLA's 7-0 lead is down to 7-3. And she's got tons of home runs in the past. She's mm -hmm. good power hitter. 17 last year. Rolled right to the first baseman, Washington, and Faremo gets out of danger. Kind of but a great team is when a leader goes down and the team still has success. Kimberly Wirt is in at first base now for Mizzou. She was the designated player. Hollingsworth, who pinch hit in the last inning, now in the lineup called strike and it's one and two. Great change up right there. Well located, down and away. Not a whole lot a hitter can do with that pitch. Got to be very careful with Maya Brady. One, two pitch. Outside. Try to go back to the same pitch again. Doubling up, I like it. Doubling up, tripling up on pitches means you're throwing the same pitch twice or three times in a row. That's a sign of confidence in the in the pitching coach, which is the head coach. 
That pitch bounced to second. Easy play there for Kendall Bailey. So Mizzou settling in after falling behind 7-0, now 7-3. So many softballs with autographs this weekend. That's one of the great things, seeing these kids get autographs from girls that are their heroes. The access that you have at this event, it's so cool. And you even have alums, current Olympians, who are coaches who sign. That's what it's all about, giving back. It's a really cool feeling when a kid first comes up to you and asks for an autograph. I'll, How many times did that happen to you? A ton, but it's been a blessing every time. Yeah, I don't know why. My first year in the minors, they gave me a baseball card in the card pack. Oh, cool. And a couple of people asked for my autograph, and <laughs> I, I don't remember if I obliged or not. I just remember thinking it was ridiculous. Well, you can't big league them. No, I can't Especially big league them. Especially if it's a kid. Yeah. Like, you make that kid cry. No, I definitely wouldn't have made a kid cry. <laughs> But nowadays, you know, the marketing, why not? You're part of the team. It's true. I did get a ring. Yeah, there you go. Experience some never going to forget. Those are fun minor league championships. Brianna Perez, strike three called. Paint on the outside corner from Jordan Weber. Yeah, was, he's done a great job. He's giving him a chance. Four runs, it's not a big enough lead when you're playing Missouri, I'll tell you that. I know that from experience. Yeah, UCLA was up seven nothing. I thought this might be a run rule game, but this game might come down to the wire. Three solo shots from Mizzou. Kuro lays a bunt down. Weber fields her position and that ends the inning. Mizzou the batter. Sorry about that. <clears throat> Sorry, me. <laughs> so, if you could bring your dog, can you bring your cat? It's a good question. I haven't seen any cats. I don't know what the rules are. We'd have to ask the folks in charge. It's above I mean, our pay grade. I know cats don't like to be leashed. That's true. Daily swings and misses. Yeah, maybe the rule is you need to pet on a leash. <laughs> You'd probably have to be dragging the cat through the clump complex. I know in Texas, with having just recently moved there after Corona, people are, t a lot of dogs. Oh yeah, a lot of people got COVID companions. I think that's what they're calling them. Yes. And you're seeing them at stores too. Like you go to Home Depot, you'll see five or six people with dogs in inside Home Depot. Yeah, the count. Some confusion there. Yeah, that, that wasn't strike three. No, shouldn't have been. One ball and two strikes. That's what the scoreboard has. Yeah, that's what I had. Top of the sixth, 7-3 Bruins. UCLA with a 7-0 lead through two innings, but Mizzou has chipped away. Pitch misses from Faremo. Faremo has given up three solo home runs. Wirt, Dieters, and Shomo all in the last two innings for the Tigers. Well, the only great thing about solo home runs is that they're solo. Yeah, that's the one thing pitchers always say. Solo home runs don't beat you. It's but, the walks in front yep, of them. It's the runners on base. Ramo with the visor over her ear. 2-2. Two -two. Foul back. Ramo looking for her ninth strikeout. 12 strikeouts on Friday, 18 yesterday, eight more today for Megan Ferremo. Kara Daly, the cleanup hitter for Mizzou, digs back in. Ramo. Shakes off the first sign, now gets the one she wants. El Cambio. Yeah, change up, but very good discipline from Daly to lay off. Daly, 0 for 2, two swinging strikeouts, so maybe she's learned her lesson. 
I'll tell you what, she's a very tall hitter. She's got to be over six foot. Pop up, left side. No play off the netting over UCLA's dugout. Kara Daly, freshman, listed at six feet tall from Jefferson City, Missouri. That's the capital of Missouri. Yes. Thought it sounded familiar. Cool campus. Cool campus got nice little um, area on the edge of campus, little, like a plaza, ton of restaurants and um, bars and cool stores, souvenir shops, pretty nice. Cool little campus. Did you ever have to memorize all the, the state capitals when you were a kid? Oh, yeah. For some class. States have, yeah, exactly. And some states have weird ones, but that's the only reason I knew Jefferson City was Missouri's capital. Because you think it's the big city, and for some states it is. Yes. It's Nashville and Tennessee. But other times it's Jefferson City, Missouri, or Albany, New York, Austin and Texas. Austin's a pretty big city, though, but it's not Dallas or Houston. Santa Fe in New Mexico, mm -hmm. I think. Salem, Oregon. Strike three called. Wow. Daly rung up. That was a big pitch. Could have gone either way, either ball four or strike three. Oh, yeah. Too close to take. Number two, Kendall Yeah, that's too close to take. You got to smoke that thing to right if you can. It's a change up. Tough pitch. Kendall Bailey batting now. Check swing, foul back. So a big out, especially with Missouri trying to rally. Bailey, a grad student from Missouri. Oh, one. Rise ball in there for strike two. What's really cool is what's something that kind of helped Corona wise with these um, student athletes. They actually got an extra year of school. A lot of them got their master's degree. Mm -hmm. A lot of grad students. Playing. Just missing outside for Amo. Thought that was strikeout number 10. I mean, that's about the only positive thing that came out of this pandemic. Some of these kids got extra paid year of scholarship to educate themselves more. Fly ball left field, good and on the run. She's out of room, it's gone. Another home run for the Tigers, and it's a three-run game. I'm telling you, don't sleep on this offense. That's the fourth for the Mizzou Tigers. Hitting is contagious. It's a sign of a great team right there. Another chant, this one for Missouri. M-I-Z-Z-O-U. That's up for the Tigers, number 44, Gabby Eagles. Azevedo, 5-1, a 1.22 ERA. But now the tying run is in the on-deck circle. Alex Honold with that base hit. Gabby Dieter's the batter, she takes a strike. Yeah, it's definitely turned into a great ball game. Didn't look like it to start. 7-0 UCLA. Ball one. Azevedo in the circle. Fifth year senior from San Jose. Bruins seven, Tigers four. Top 20 matchup here at Mary Nutter. Ball two up and away, and the runner moves to second as it gets all the way to the backstop. So UCLA really fighting it now. I thought they were going to cruise to a win. They were up 7-0 after two innings, but now Missouri within three. UCLA needs five more outs. 2-1 to Dieters. Good pitch on the outer half, called strike two. 
There's that Bugs Bunny changeup. Really good pitch for. And I think that's the pitch that they need to just keep using to get these guys to stay off balance. There swing and a miss. Saza Vito gets Dieter swinging a big out. Two away now in the top of the sixth. That's a great pitch right there. Vanessa Hollingsworth. It's a great sign of a good pitcher to be able to throw two back to back same pitches. So you know you're really confident in your pitcher. Vanessa Hollingsworth, the true freshman. Struck out in her first at bat as a pinch hitter for Emma Robbie. Runner at second, two outs. Ball one. Potential tying run in the on deck circle for Missouri. Four solo shots for the Tigers as they try and claw themselves back from a 7-0 deficit. The catcher Wiz tried to frame it, but it's ball two. Another great game, the 15 out of 16. Game number 15 out of 16 on this field over four days. Swing and a miss by Hollingsworth. Freshman two for six. Limited action this year. Facing a veteran in Azevedo in the circle. Line drive into center field, base hit. Honnold around third, the throw from Brady. Not in time, and Mizzou is within two. Great throw from Maya Brady, but Honnold slides in around the tag. And Mizzou is down seven to five. And you're going to play for the Tigers. It's a great piece of hidden. She tried to throw that. Screwball down and in, she fought it off and smoked it back up the middle. Close play at the plate, but Honnold definitely safe. And Hollingsworth to second on the throw home. Here's Cassidy Shomo. Potential tying run now. UCLA led this game 7-0, now it's 7-5. Shomo, a fifth year senior. Seven runs, ten hits for the Bruins. Five runs, eight hits for Mizzou. Azevedo delivers. Fouled off. I said, I've, I've just seen this, this team so much over the years, and just so well coached. Showing it today for sure. That's in all parts of the game. Defensively, offensively, on the bases, I mean, it's just a well-rounded ball team. 7-5 Bruins. That's in the dirt low. In this sport, the everyday development and, and um, progress of the team is important. And they take lots of pride in all that stuff as a staff. Ball three. Potential tying run at the plate. And then the lineup turns over for Mizzou. Big hitter coming up next. Wilmus. One of their best hitters in the last few years. Little fly ball, shallow left, and Gooden makes the catch. UCLA. 
Pretty much. UCLA 11 and 3, Mizzou 12 and 3, both top 20 teams. Swing and a drive, center field. Wilmis on the run. She leaps and makes the catch. Wow. Incredible play from Missouri's center fielder. That's how you keep the momentum going right there. Such a great play to just be so tough to hang in there knowing that you're not going to hit a padded wall. It's chain link. Wow. Brooke Wilmis. What a play. If that doesn't make the top 10 tonight. Hashtag SC top 10. Wow. Bunted. Gooden out at first. Great play by the catcher. Defense on display for Mizzou here. Gabby Dieters on a picture perfect bunt from Kelly Gooden throws out the Bruins left fielder. Great play, way to get out of the box. Picks it up, gets rid of it quick. Good call. Yes. And the bang bang play at first, Ty never goes to the runner, and that's just the myth. Kinsley Washington, leadoff hitter for the Bruins, one for three. So UCLA with a drive to center and a great bunt, but there are two outs because of Missouri's defense here in the bottom of the sixth. The That's Tigers big. have the momentum. Big, big. Win the inning. You could win the inning on both sides of the ball. You're, you're doing good things. Kinsley Washington with two outs and nobody on. Bottom of the sixth, UCLA seven, Mizzou five. Foul back. Top of the lineup for Missouri in the seventh. Will Miss Laird and Wirt. Ali Azevedo more than likely will be asked to deal with those three dangerous hitters. One and two to Washington. Off the glove of the catcher, Dieters to the backstop, but there's nobody on base. Two outs, nobody on. Missouri, they trailed seven to nothing. And now it's seven five. The Tigers with a big rally. Hard ground ball through the hole on the left side. Washington reaches with two outs. As UCLA tries to add an insurance run or two. Next up for the Bruins, number 20, Anna Vines. Anna Vines. She's the hitter, Kinsley Washington at first. Washington does have three steals. Wouldn't be surprised if UCLA tries to get her to second. Especially with two outs. Why not? You still have the lead, but you have to get her in scoring a position. Swing and a fly ball left field. Shomo at the wall. She makes the catch. We go to the seventh. Two-run ball game. Top of Missouri's lineup. 7-5 UCLA. Wilmis, Laird, and Wirt do up. Yeah, what a game. What a game. Lead off. Seventh inning leadoff hitter coming up. It's a perfect scenario. This is what you want as a head coach. The top of the lineup coming up for you to try to win this ball game. One ball and no strikes to Wilmis. Dangerous hitter. Good change up. Strike one. Wilmis batting 294. Two home runs. 0 for 3 though in this ball game. Has that SEC graduate patch for all the graduate students. No batting gloves. Swing and a miss. Went after one down low, and it's one and two. Yeah, so that patch 
Um, it comes from, it's given to the players that have graduated, which is really cool. And I'm sure mom and dad are very proud of that. It's a cool, cool thing they do in the SEC. Not hit her. A little confused about the reaction. I think it's just ball two. Yeah, that is cool. I feel like all the conferences should do it. SEC graduate, pretty cool. Way to know that she's got her degree. Very impressive stuff. Yeah, which is the number one thing we all go to college for, hopefully. Full count now to Brooke Wilmis. Last thing Azevedo wants to do is put the leadoff batter on for the Tigers. That would bring the tying run to the plate with nobody out. It's a tough 3-2 pitch right here. Ball four. Mizzou looking for the upset. From 7-0 down to 7-5, and here's Jenna Laird, the shortstop. She represents the potential tying run. Incredible effort from Mizzou. The sophomore from New York. SEC Freshman of the Year last year. What a great ball game. You said it. In the dirt, good block by the catcher, Wiz. Azevedo pitching in relief of Ferremo. I think Ferremo ran out of gas. Wound up giving up four home runs, all solo shots. And Mizzou added another against Azevedo in the sixth. Quick meeting in the circle, Lisa Fernandez with some words of wisdom for Azevedo. And the batter, Jenna Laird. Game in her hands right now, potential tying run for Mizzou. Then it's Kimberly Word on deck. We've seen some great games this weekend and this right up there with them. Interesting move uh, where Coach Anderson went and talked to Sarah, her assistant coach at first base. Called strike. Maybe asking her for her opinion on something. Maybe pinch hitter or what do you think if we get the runner on second, what do we do? Well, it's interesting because they need two runs, not one. Yes. Ground ball to short, could be two. Perez tags the bag, throw to first, not in time. UCLA does get the lead runner. Tough double play to turn. One out. Laird replaces Wilmis on base for the Tigers, but Kimberly Wirt, who has a ton of power, now at the plate representing the tying run. It's a very dangerous hitter. No doubt about it. In the dirt, blocked by Wiz. Kimberly Wirt. Already with a home run in this ball game. Fifth year senior, transfer from Hofstra along with the head coach, Larissa Anderson. I believe she was um, player of the year at Hofstra in the league. What league is that? Is that the CAA, Colonial Athletic Association? I don't know. I know she came with a big resume. Big swing and a foul back, one and two. So I'd have to believe that she just destroyed that league. If she's good in the SEC, a good play, one of the best hitters in the SEC. I was right, the Colonial Athletic Association. Boom. One, two pitch. Soft fly ball foul off the left side. Mala Ulu chugging towards that ball, but she had no play. We were just talking about that earlier, how great pitchers can double up and triple up on pitches. She, that was the third changeup in a row. She slowed, slowed her down so many times now. I, I don't, she might try to speed her up right here, see what she does, especially up in the count. 
Yep. But it's ball two. Try to get her to chase the rise ball. Up and away. Kimberly Wirt, powerful hitter. I think she goes to the change again. That's her bread and butter pitch. Big hitter, big moment. Try to get a roll over in the dough play. That popped up, but this is heading our direction out of play. Comes to rest on top of the netting behind home plate. That's definitely Lisa Fernandez. That's why you're one of the best ever. It's really good at pitch calling. Lonely ball on the netting there. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Big strikeout from Azevedo. She gets work. And that's the second out in the seventh. That was a battle. It's a great AB. The pitcher just has a tough pitch, down and away chase pitch. Kara Daly, 0 for 3, three strikeouts. What a time this would be for her to come through. Cleanup hitter for the Tigers. Right there for strike one. Azevedo trying to slam the door on Mizzou. The Tigers putting up a great effort. That changeup is just filthy. It's going to take her a long way this, this year. Azevedo, great start to the season. Check swing, did she go? No. One on, two out, top of the seventh. UCLA clinging to a two-run lead. It was 7-0, now 7-5 here in the seventh inning. Daly, big swing and a miss, and again, that changeup. She just pulled the string. Yeah, Bugs Bunny at his finest. One ball, two strikes. UCLA a strike away, but Mizzou has the tying run at the plate. Can the Bruins hang on? Another great game at Mary Nutter. In the dirt, blocked by Wiz with the backhand. Daly lives to see another pitch. It's a hard drop ball down. Change the eye level. She might try to make her chase. Rise ball up and in right here or go back to the change. 2-2. Two -two. Ground ball to third. Malaulu long throw in time and that's the ball game. UCLA holds off a late rally from Mizzou. The Bruins take down the Tigers. The final score, UCLA 7.